So the question that you have asked here is there are two vectors. Vector A which is 30 meters per second towards east and vector B which is 40 meters per second northwards. We have to find the direction that the resultant velocity makes with the east. Direction that the resultant velocity makes with the east. In here we have taken this direction as east and this direction as west. So what we need to find is this angle. If this is the resultant, we have to find the angle which it makes with the east direction. Now how do I go about it? A good way to go about this is I have two things right I have one along east one along north so my resultant will be so I first went east like this I took a perpendicular north like this so my resultant is something like this this is my resultant if this is vector a this is vector b and this is the resultant vector a plus b the triangle law of addition right you put one vector move it par parallelly till its tail comes in contact with the head of the first vector the tail of the second vector is at the head of the first vector and then we join these two points now in this case your resultant vector will make an angle theta here so if you can see from this triangle you can see the tan theta must be equal to the magnitude of vector b divided by magnitude of vector a which in this case is 40 meters per second divided by 30 meters per second you are left with 4 by 3 now how do i know the value of which value of theta will give me tan theta equal to 4 by 3 you know the five standard angles in trigonometry that the values that you already know for 0 30 45 60 and 90 i would suggest that you add couple of more angles to it and if you know one the other you already know 37 degree and 53 degree remember these two are complementary angles and what are what do i mean by complementary angles for com from complementary angle i mean that sine of 37 is cos of 53 and sine of 53 is equal to cos of 37 and same is true for tan and cot so you just need to know for one of the angles the other you can always figure it out typically you should remember this sine of 37 is equal to 3 by 5 cos of 37 is 4 by 5 and tan of 37 is the division of 2 which is 3 by 4 similarly sine of 53 is 4 by 5 cos of 53 is 3 by 5 and tan of 53 is the division of 2 which is 4 by 3 so in this case your tan theta in this case your tan theta gives me the value of theta as 53 degree value of theta is 53 degrees is that one of our options yes we have an option 53 here